Hi everyone, welcome to week five. Um, good class today. It seems like more than half of you already have enough work, which is awesome. And those of you who might be short don't seem to be super short and do seem to have a good plan to have a dozen or so pieces by May. So that's fantastic, really great news. Um, we've just finished two weeks of photography, photograph your work, photograph yourself. Now we're moving into two weeks of writing write about your work, write about yourself. So next week will be write about yourself, um, uh, about statement, resume, CV, all that stuff. This week is write about your work. Um, so the majority of you are uh, looking for commercial careers. We do have a few of you who are looking for gallery uh, careers. So let's start on the commercial end and, and move to gallery in a minute. Um, so the writing, you know, we've already made um, our homepage. It's got your name, Glenn Zuckman, and some sort of title, graphic design. And then your menu has a few breakout choices like identity systems, packaging, posters, something like that, um, and then about and contact. So when we click on these choices like identity systems, that's taking me to a page which hopefully you already have a few images on that you pasted there from previously. Um, and now we're gonna do some writing. So each of these pages, the identity systems page or in, and the other pages that you will have for your specific um, career, uh, there should be one or several sentences at the top which says a little bit about that category, you know, your approach to identity systems or whatever the, the topic is. And then for each of the images on the page, one or several sentences about what's going on with that project. And it's important, as I've said before, um, you know, if you're gonna talk at all about being a student at Long Beach State or the thing your grandfather gave you when you were four that inspired you, that stuff's gotta come at the end. You know, people might be interested in that if they're really interested in you, but it's a bad place to start. You have only a few seconds to get somebody interested and it's really important to keep in mind, um, nobody hires you because you're smart, clever, interesting, it, just, it doesn't get you anywhere. People hire you for one reason, because they have a problem and they believe that you can solve their problem. So you've got to say that up front. Um, you've got to say, you know, my client wanted to communicate this to their audience, therefore I made these design choices. So I didn't choose this font because it's cool. I didn't choose this font because it's the newest, coolest font. I chose this font because it will help my client speak to their audience. I chose this color palette. You know, is it, is it Coco Chanel? Is it anthropology, right? There are plenty of different styles out there and they all have a place and they all have an audience, but you're making specific choices um, to speak, to help your clients speak to specific audiences. So talk about how you solve problems, how you work, how you communicate. People want to know, do you have the artistic skill to, to do whatever they need? And then they also want to know, are you professional? Can I talk to you? Can we communicate? Um, are you gonna take my deposit money and never talk to me again? Are you gonna deliver stuff on time? Is it, are you gonna give me, are you gonna hand me a physical image when would I, you, you know, like, in, like a, a, a paint on paper when I actually needed a digital file? So, you know, helping people understand that you can deliver what they need, what they use, what they can use, that it's ready to go and it's when they need it or sooner, um, that's really valuable. So for each of these pages, um, we'll get to about and contact next week because that's you know you're about you and all that. But this week for each of your say three pages, one or several sentences uh, at the top talking about your approach to, again, I'm just using graphic design as an example, to identity systems, your approach to you know, packaging and so on. And then for each image, one or several sentences. For a complex project, you may want to actually link to yet another page and then do that project all on its own, a case study sort of thing. Um, but however you want to organize your content, that's what we're writing this week. We're taking these images that you've hopefully already posted, 
and uh, captioning them. Uh, they say that a photo is worth a thousand words, but a photo with a caption is worth, you know, I don't know, a thousand photos without captions. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much the mission this week for all of you who are looking to commercial careers in, you know, graphic design, photography, animation, illustration, or anything else. For gallery careers, it's similar, um, but you, you know, you, you're not spelling it out in quite the same way. I still think that if you can position what you're thinking about, what you, you know, as a gallery artist, you have, um, you know, people work differently, obviously. Some people, it's very conceptual. You come from an idea and then decide even what media you might be working in. Some people, it's, you know, it, it could be more visceral. It could be about the experience of the paint itself. There are obviously a lot of ways to work, but, you know, generally, I think having a site that's just images and, and no text is asking your audience to do a lot, um, especially if, you know, if you're not, if you're a blue chip artist, well, you, then that's a whole other story. But for, for us as emerging artists, help them a little bit get into what your art practice is, what your process is, what ideas you're investigating with your work, uh, which could be very different for, for each of us. But again, you know, talk a little bit about uh, your ideas or maybe, you know, a little bit about the materials. You know, you, you, you can say something about the quality of the ceramic uh, material you're working with and, you know, give somebody a little bit of a visceral feeling for that. So that's our mission this week is to get some text on those, you know, three or so category pages, a little bit at the top and then a little bit for each image that you have. As always, let me know if I can help. Um, send me an email. We can talk back and forth by email. I can hop on Discord and chat with you there. And I'm also available um, on Zoom uh, in virtual face to face. Have a great week. Uh, have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.